Thank you. Uh, good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us for our weekly connection. I like to call it a connection as we are all connected on, on the one level, which is the wisdom level. We are not connected just on the on the physical level, what I need from each other, what each one of us wants from each other, but what our gathering together, one, two, five, 20 people, 100 people together, the impact is enormous and endless. When you are alone and you want to get something or when you are with people and your interest is that just make sure I get the other person, the person get me or I get something from them, the connection become limited. I want to find someone. I want maybe hopefully to get something. I want some gift. No. Our connection is on a wisdom level and you get everything else. That's what's important, the, the, the connection that we're making here. So this week, this week, there is a one particular name I'm going to focus on. And it's all about that name. And again, I want to go through a few different stages because one name, and it's the name of the portion, really trickling down consciousness that we all have need a must and desire to, uh, to, to complete in this, in this lifetime. We know that every week we're connecting through what we call the portion of the week. This week's portion, it's, you know, almost like feels like random, but because all the, because the, the Torah, the stories is never chronological, right? It's really an energy source that needs to be revealed in that particular week. So this week, we're talking about a, a guy, his name was Korach. Korach. Now we know Korach, that's his name. He, I mean, according to all Kabbalists and all sages, this guy was so negative. He was so negative that actually he came and complained to Moses. And as soon as he said complain, him and 250 people of his congregation, you know, died in an earthquake right then, right in that moment that he's arguing. And that was like a wow. And everybody knows that story. And again, let's understand why that story. How does it relate it to our life? Why do I need to even hear about Korach? And the third idea is, if it's so negative, why the Torah, the holy, the holy, you know, uh, uh, sections, you know, give a name, the whole portion, a name after a negative person like that or a negative situation like that? So these are a couple of the questions we want to answer. And also, what was, it, what did he do that was so negative that everybody spoke about it? It was like the most negative person. In, 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 in the congregation. So when you're looking into what did he do, you even find that even more complex, more difficult. Why? And I'll tell you the dry story, the literal story, so you'll understand why it's, it's, it's difficult to, you know, uh, uh, to, to say or to, to follow a, a, a religion or even Judaism, you know, any religion is is hard to accept. But even Judaism, in this in this story, the story goes that we know that the tribe of the Levites, okay, the tribe of the Levites were the the channel between or the bridge meant to represent the bridge between the upper world and the lower. World. That's their job. Every firstborn, right? Every firstborn was chosen to lead as the Kohen, as the priest. This is how the priesthood started, right? They chose the firstborn that represent, they took him and they made him way more elevated. Moses and the tools that we have back then was able to take people, those people, and make them channel in a higher level for the, for the nation. And in particular story, this week, we learn about Korach, 
What was Korach? Ben Itzhar, Ben Kehat, Ben Levi. He was the child of Levi. He was also a Levite. And what happened? There was, quote unquote, election, right? And he was not elected to be a Kohen. The job of the Kohen, known to be very, very high, high level of work, not even a physical world in work. It was almost like just uh, connecting spiritually. And he was not chosen because the one who was chosen is Aaron, the brother of Moses, right? So let me explain to you the rules. If, and yes, Korach was the firstborn, but he was not chosen to be a Kohen amongst everybody. Aaron was chosen. So obviously, as soon as he goes to Moses and say, and actually it wasn't almost like a complaint, but it was like, Moses, I just want to know how come you chose your brother was chosen? I'm also firstborn. Why wasn't I chosen to be a Kohen? That was enough for the entire congregation to die because of his question. Now, we should understand, people read it for thousands of years. And it's like, what did this guy do? He was claiming the right claim. Why did they present him as a, such a negative person, right? So, obviously, he was right about his claim to Moses. He was not just right. He was absolutely right. Absolutely right. So why is so negative if you're so right and you have all the rights, you know, and, you know, the entire, uh, what should we call, uh, um, uh, the entire world followed by rules, right? What's right and what's wrong, what fares and what's not, right? That was right. According to the laws, that's what I should receive. Now we know this world doesn't work this way. Yes. By law, you, there is what you entitled for and what you're not entitled for by law, right? You in, you know, you are the firstborn. You should get such and such. You are, you know, you uh, 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 you are the first uh, first in line. Get this or second in line. You get that and so forth. You know, uh, if you have a competition, the one who came first win. The one who came second and third win bronze and uh, silver, right? Silver, right? So imagine what he asked for is that I came first, I crossed, like you see all the Olympic now, see, I, I, I like it. Really. So I saw the highlight of the Olympic, they, like an inch further, faster than the other person, you are first, and the person an inch before. Now this guy is a world record, and the other person is an inch back, like a, a second, less than a second. He's, no, you're not a world record. I want to share with you. When Korach came to Moses and claimed, hey, I'm supposed to be a, a, the Kohen. I'm supposed to be the leader, right? What's the problem here, right? As soon as he asked this, that was already wrong. Now, let me ask you, let me tell you something. It's not that it was wrong what he asked for. It's the wrong place he came from. That's the whole difference. And that's what we need to work on. That is the whole Kabbalistic transformation. Is where is your consciousness? Where are you coming from? That was completely, again, some of us in a certain level, we really need to know that consciousness influence everything that stems from or comes out of you. Only your consciousness influences that. So let's understand that Kabbalistically, slowly, but again, if we understand that Korach, the reason we're talking about it is because Korach exists within each and every one of us, and we cannot be without it. We have to, each one of us have this Korach guy, the little Korach inside of us, by the way, you should know, I remember growing up, if you needed to describe the most healthiest person, eh, healthy, 
wealthiest person in the world, you will say, oh, this guy, this woman, this guy is Ashir Kakorach. I don't know if you know that, right? Wealthy like Korach. Because you know, he used to be very wealthy, very known, very connected. You know, he had his people next to him. Very, you know, a, a great group, group, a group of people, a money, abundance, you know. So it's not like, a, you have to understand, we're not talking about someone who rise up from the people and, you know, is bored, so he had come to Moses. It's a very important person. That's part of the problem. So he says, where do we learn that? We learn that from the first initial word of the Torah. How does it start? Vaikach Korach. And Korach took. Right? What's the problem? He took people and he took a possession or in a position that when he came with the people and with his position, he came and he, and he, he took a position. He took a stand. And then he came to Moses. That was a problem because it was a consciousness of a taker. That's the first initial transformation that need to happen in our day. Every single day, you have to check. You wake up in the morning, you, cut, you get up, you ask yourself, what am I here, to give or to take? Am I taking now? Today, what do I want to do today? Take or give? That's the first simplicity, this is my dear. It's a simple way of seeing how one can really shift their day. So first of all, that's the first question. I wake up in the morning, am I taking today or am I giving today? Very simple. I ask myself every day. Again, I wake up, I have many, many things to do. You know, it's not simply just asking this one question. I have many, many questions I go through, right? Because question is a gate, is opening. Then he continued with the section, he says, <clears throat> and then Moses spoke to him. And then he asked him, you know, and he says to Korach, the kol adato. Korach and all his congregation. Now, how do we know? What do we know here? Adato is congregation. But if you switch the letters, you get daato. Daato. Korach and his own opinion. Da'ato, it's his own opinion. So wait a second. He was speaking right about the, about the rules. But he did not consider anything else that Moses is right or he see a big picture. In his mind and in his own ideas, Da'ato, it's my own thinking. That's the problem. That we sitting around and we think in our own thinking that is not related to what really is presenting to us. So when, you know, but I can think my own thinking, yes. But it's only my thoughts. It's not connected to the creator thoughts. When, I, you know, how many of us know over here, you know, we have opinion about everything. Don't you? Anything I'm gonna pay, pay, anything I'm gonna pull your attention on, you will have an opinion, and you know where you get it from. From Korach. The reason today, let me tell you something. This is crazy. Thousands of years later, thousands of years later, it's Korach comes every every year in the same time, and insert and in, enlarge its possession. On our consciousness. By what? Check how many opinions you have. Let me tell you one more thing. I'm taking you to the end of the class. To share with you a secret. And then I'm going to go back. To share with you what it means. In the Kabbalah says. Before all this type of interaction with Korach. When someone says something. He was absolutely right. When somebody was wrong, he was absolutely wrong. Before God, let me make sure you understand. <clears throat> that situation that occurred 
with Korach and Moses and that earthquake will never happen again in this world. Never. Kabbalah says that will never occur in this world again. What will never occur? That Korach was completely wrong and Moses was completely right. Since then, since then, since that situation, something broke cosmically. So that situation actually, actually helped us today or still helping us today, even from a wrong, bad situation. But in the same time, we need to know something. How does it change our interaction? If I know, again, some of you don't have to believe it, but you can check it. I know for sure, in, I know in fact, that when I have an, uh, a, an opinion, I know in fact, because of Korach, that I'm not 100% right about it. But you, Benjamin, for sure. Yes, any person since, the, since that moment, it's not 100% true. If you say an opinion and people don't believe you, you are so convinced that that's what needs to happen, right? Today, you're so convinced. That's the problem. And you're so convinced that the other person is wrong. And that is the problem. So imagine if you're arguing with someone and you know, in fact, that they are 50% right and 50% wrong. Would it change my claim, my strategy? Would it would it upset me the same way? I can tell you, no. Because most of the time, why we are getting angry or heated? Because we are sure we are right. Right? Your employee behave in a certain way. Completely dumb. Made terrible mistake. It's not for sure only a mistake. The, the fact that you see it this way, you think, oh, my sister is completely wrong. You know what? Now, after this idea, we need to open ourselves to know that it's not for sure right and not for sure wrong. That's, in fact, that is a gift to allow us to work together, to allow us to not, most of us, what do we do? Levatel, cancel the other person. That consciousness of canceling each other, bitul, or canceling the other person, it's not supposed to happen since Korah. Because what happened is, if he was, he was completely wrong, what happened? Earthquake. The land could not, could not even uh, uh, handle him. Because it's, it's wrong and it, what needs to happen? You know what happened? The land opened. It says, Reidat Adama, which is earthquake, they call it. But no, it says, Ufatsta Pia, and the land opened. Okay? Not shaking. It didn't say uh, earthquake. Okay? The land opened, and it didn't say, when I flew, and they, sorry, and they didn't say, and, and Korach and Adatov fell into that. That was the, the right way. No. It says that the land opened, the Bala'a, and swallowed them. Vacancy in a second. Like the land opened, swallowed them, boom, disappeared. Like, like, like what's the, the biggest magician, right? They try to eliminate, what is the, uh, Dave Lang, right? They try to eliminate a helicopter in the middle, right? This is like unheard of because the way it described, a lot of people don't read it, the real translation, because even when I read the English translation, it's, it's not the right translation. Yeah, from a biblical point of view, that's how the English translated, but it's not the truth. When you understand belia, swallowing, you know, you have people in your life when you see them, when they eat a sandwich, they're not chewing, they swallow like, right? You know what? You have those people? You have the people in your life sometimes, right? You swallow the food, right? And, the, and they're always telling you, chew, uh, Danny, please chew, you know, chew your food, right? 
you know? So what's the idea of swallowing, disappear, vacancy in a second? Let's understand a couple of ideas over here. As we learn that the real conversation need to be is where am I coming from? What is my consciousness? Am I coming to take or am I coming to give? Third, more ideas here, okay? Why Aaron was chosen? He could easily take Korach. Why Aaron? And all of us who know the Kabbalistic uh, uh, understanding about Aaron, Aaron was a channel for what we call shalom, peace and harmony. That's his essence. It's a, it's a chariot for Hod, for the idea of, you know, big picture, the idea of peace between us, right? So that Aaron was chosen, not because he was a, a Moses' brother, because we know from previously until now, all his essence, all his consciousness was about, about bringing harmony, no division. No separation. And the big thing about Aaron is a very deep consciousness that we, and hopefully we can we can achieve as, as people. Aaron did not see two, three, four. He only saw one. So I, I shared it earlier because Kabbalistically, when you, when you even count the days, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, when, right? It seems like different days. In Hebrew, it says Rishon, Sheni, Shlishi, right? Kabbalistically, you don't say the word Sunday or Rishon. You say Yom Echad. That's how they call it, Yom Echad. Yom Echad, it means one day to indicate that there are no days. There is only the entire week is just one day. Your entire life is one day to indicate that if you're coming from a place that you think I'm one, this is two, this is three and four, five, eight, already you're in a consciousness of division. It's so difficult what I just told you right now. It takes me probably 20 years to even get closer to understand and to live by it that consciousness. So yeah, let me give you a practically how, how do I look at them? <clears throat> First of all, the consciousness of, 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 of us versus, versus me and you is completely different, right? The consciousness of we Right? That is the reality before Koch. After Koch, there's you and there's I. There's me and there's them. As long as you have that consciousness, your big, biggest fan and your best friend is Koch. You should know that. That's the get go, at the beginning, as a beginning stage of how and where you come from. Once you think there's me and there's them, there's me and there's you, and there's you and there's me, done. Done. It's already you have inserted the consciousness of God. So what should be the right way? First of all, first of all, let's understand the difficulty when you have a core consciousness. You're going to have entitlement. You're going to have ours first. You're going to have, I'm wealthy, so I need to say something. I, I already built companies, so you should listen to me, right? Already, you get, you get, you know, much more or much less depend on how lucrative you have or how wealthy or not and how connected or not you have a saying. But that comes secondary. The first thing is me and you. That is Korach. Korach didn't understand, for example, if Moses was the highest level of prophecy, how come he was wrong about you? 
Everything was, even Korach agreed. He agreed, by the way, that Moses is the highest uh, prophet. And I don't know, maybe here we had an agenda. Already, because he's saying that, he disqualified all Moses' revelation and revolution. And therefore, he got to be disappearing. Meaning the land swallowed him. Now, I'll explain to you what it means, Kabbalistically. So now, <clears throat> when you have the consciousness of, and again, this is difficult to live by, me and you, them and I, our family, their family. If your consciousness is there, you're already in a consciousness of machloket, division. Division, you divide it. You think there's two things. If you think there's two things, you're already in Korach consciousness. And as a result of that, and you can check it in your life, you have entitlement, you have I'm first, I'm second, you have fairness, you have all those things that comes that are representing the Korach consciousness. Korach have also a problem over there, which is also our problem, is the environment. All the people around him all the 250 people who died or didn't die in vain or mistake, right? They all encourage him. Yeah, yeah, Koch, you're right. You're right. We should be the, you, you should be our leader because you are the, that's the problem. You know, that's the problem, the environment. You have to surround yourself with the right environment because if you fall to the conscience of Koch, you have an environment that either promote the Koch or tell you, hey, Go back, go back. You, you're taking off. You're too much into that disconnect. If you have the wrong environment, they will encourage you. Yeah, you should do those things. You should No. I had many, many situations that I started to do things with people, with groups and everything. And all of a sudden, you see that the, the, the consciousness is in division. I said, I, I don't want to be part of this. You know, I don't mind whatever. I'm not part of this type of division, you know? So, again, it's not the class right now, but there's many, many examples of how this type of consciousness create complete separation later on, down, down the road. And you should know. Anything in your life that is a source of division, anything that you're promoting that it's a source of division will be swallowed out of this world. And if it's you, God forbid, you will be eliminated. You will be disappearing. Like any organization in the world that create division and hatred will be swallowed. Like any terror, any hatred, any division, any leader that promote division like that will be swallowed. Like, you know, the promise of the Kabbalists? Pila Amavet Lanetzach. And death will be swallowed forever. This is the promise of Kabbalah, of Kabbalah that our job is to eliminate death. And every division is death. What is cancer? Actually, this week's uh, this uh, uh, weekend, I think Saturday, Sunday, we enter to the new moon of, of Tamud, which is cancer. What is cancer? Division. Any organ in your body. In Shalom, in anyone's body that have space, have cancer. Unity eliminate cancer. Space create cancer. That's uh, the week. Now we're gonna speak about it next week and Monday, probably a little bit about the new moon. <clears throat> so first, you should look into your day. Anything that is not about development, moving forward, creating more. Right? Influencing more. Unity more. Create more unity. Create more togetherness. Anything that is not being served for that will be swallowed. Leivala. Belia. It's, it's, it's a concept. I cannot ex extend more of that right now. But the land Tivaka. Let me, you know what? I should explain it to you. There is a concept in Kabbalah called Bekiah. Bekiah is breakthrough. 
breakthrough. Now we all looking for breakthrough in our life. Is it true to say? Huh? Why we all looking breakthrough in this, breakthrough in leisure, breakthrough in the business, breakthrough in, in consciousness, breakthrough in the group, breakthrough in the world, right? In technology, what's the next breakthrough? I want to, you know. Why do we look for this? Is how we allow because a lot of us we are not good functioners in an evil kill, right? Uh, like everything the even kill, you know, staying. I want everything to be very peaceful. You call it peaceful, right? But what did we learn many times? When you see somebody, God forbid, in the hospital and the monitor goes up and down. You see the monitor goes up and down? What do they call them? A lie. But what if you see a flat line? Even. I want to be even killed. Right? Kill, right? They call it. Kill, die, dead. That's what people want. Oh, I want like that. You know, I want maintaining the same uh, uh, no change you know no eruption we're missing the point people like that the land will swallow right if you're not a person of and desire breakthrough in your consciousness in this world in the world of unity in the world of love in the world of next level eventually whoever doesn't have that consciousness will be swallowed by the land, by chaos. But if not, you will be, again, the same word in one, one level, you'll be swallowed in chaos. And the, or the other word is Bekia, which is breakthrough. Breakthrough in technology, breakthrough in ideas, breakthrough, in, breakthrough with, with health and many, many different things like that. That's what we want. So again, the problem with belly, I will explain it again. The swallow, swallow being swallowed in the land, right? Disappear, vacant. Why don't we like that? Because a lot of us don't want to be in a group or in a community. We, because we will be swallowed in the community, we seems like you know, our talent is not being shown. We are not the leader. Nobody sees us. You know, we don't have any saying. So a lot of people don't want to be part or be in unity because they think their individuality will be swallowed within the group. I want to be unique. I want to create my own group. I want to do this, right? Let me let me tell you. Even in in our community, there are many different, call it cliques or bubbles or circles, but they're all in the same division. They're all in the same circle. They're all in the same consciousness. It's not that we are better or worse, right? We are better than them. There's nothing to do with that. It's like to, to understand that it's not a problem to have a five, 10 people group or whatever. But remember <clears throat> the collective. <clears throat> a lot of us need to remember that you must activate your uniqueness in the group. That's what makes each one of us, if you take a little piece of a puzzle, that's what makes the whole looks amazing and create a change and a shift. So it's important that, no, I don't want, well, what, Korach, what happened to Korach? No, I don't want, I owe my, you know, you have to, you owe me my position. All of a sudden he got, but if it was unique, it will be put in the right place, in the right, you know, chair and in the right position. And by within itself, each one of us bring our uniqueness. It's a magical group. But if everybody's like leaning on one magical person, we're never going to grow. We have to bring our heart. We have to add our, our 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 uniqueness that gives us a, a, a bit of a of a direction next next it's the deeper work that you want to work on and I said many times and Kabbalistically it takes time to understand that but from today Give it a give it a shot for one week at least. 
to stop the thought or the claim that you have in your mind that there is a person over here talking and there is something outside. If you can get to a place that you understand that talking to that person is talking to you. And again, I'm not saying that that person shows you what you need to change or you see that person is so jealous. It doesn't mean, oh, it means that this is your jealousy. Yes, I'm talking about completely different level. That person I see outside, first of all, doesn't exist outside. It exists inside internally the reason i can see that person because that person is another version of me it's another aspect of me i want to tell you even more that is me if i understand that when i have an argument with somebody Argument is amazing. You should argue. But Benjamin, you told me not argue like uh, with most. No, it's where you're coming from. If I argue because I know it's me and I care for the person like I care for me because there is no, there's nothing outside. Imagine you living life, sitting on a, on a chair and in front of you, there is this green screen that everything that you want to see is on that screen, which and who are the people you're going to put on the screen? What? Different characters look like you? A, a, an NBA character like you? What? A, a race car driving? What? A model? What are you going to put in front of you? It's exactly you. You are the people I'm going to put in front of me. That's how I created that in my mind. And that's how it projected into this wall. And that by itself, take away the idea of you and me. It's us. Talking to you, helping you, improving your life is improving my life based on Korach understanding. Again, I know I'm, you know, probably, you know, uh, 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 for some of us is pretty new. But if you understand that idea, there is no you and me. There is Korach, you know, Moses was surprised. He says, Korach, from your movie point of view, I am you telling you what are you what are you doing? Right? Moses was like, What's going on with you? Are you crazy? You're talking to you, right? Change you, you understand. We are together. We are one, echad, and we are one, we are not two. So if I understand that, and I understand that the uniqueness of the other person is my uniqueness, is our uniqueness. I will encourage that. I will ignite it. I will elevate it more. Not put it down and, I, oh, my uniqueness is much better than you. I'm prettier than you. That's in my in our mind. And that's the division. It's internally. It's not that people, everybody can be pretending to be, uh, you know, uh, politically correct and say, wow, I love your dress, or I love your this, or I love your hair, I love the this. Yeah, you're just saying that, but you are really understand that it's me. Invest that because you understand there is no you and me. There is only one, Echad. So, what can be done this week? Again, a few of the things that I said is consciously needs to change and need to understand that, sit with that, think about these ideas more and more and more. Second is, the word Korach have few unique messages. Korach is also from the word Kerach, ice, ice, right? When, when do we, you know, let me, let me uh, explain more, because Kerach in Kabbalah is nothing to do with the physical ice. But it represents water that are frozen. What does it mean, water? Water represents a tremendous amount of mercy and life. But when it's frozen, it's considered to be what we call in Kabbalah, left column, which is wisdom that is frozen, that it cannot be revealed. That is 
what we call left calm, which is judgment. But also, you look at that. When you talk to people and you called, right? Are you feeling connected to them? Or when you talk to somebody and they feel like they are cold, right? You would ask, hey, what happened? You know, what, what got into you? But let's say you don't know them. You know, you would say, oh, those, you know how many times I, hey, go talk to that person, you know. Oh, they're so cold, you know. What do you mean they're cold? It's wind, it's summer, what cold? No, 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 they are cold. You know, they're, what is cold? Closed, frozen, not engaged, right? Not even extending themselves, right? Not, not interested to connect, no influence. Cold, no influence, right? So we have to understand that is in the initial thing. So every time, every time you talk to people, oh, when you talk to people, right? You need to see, wait a second, am I cold? I'm coming from Koch. If I'm cold to somebody, I am Koch. Change it up, warm up. Warm up because why? They are me, okay? We are in it together. So you be the upper person, you be the bigger person and transform, warm up, melt the ice, right? Melt the ice by sharing wisdom and so forth. Then, then, if you understand the word Korach, you flip the letter Korach, you get the word Choker or Cheker, meaning Choker is investigator. Investigate. Now again, Choker is also interrogator. Okay? It's the same word, interrogator. Now, anybody here likes to be interrogated? That's already filled division. No? When somebody comes to you and says, by the way, what did you do yesterday at 12 o'clock in the afternoon? Did you say you went to lunch? Where did you go, Mr. Employee? Right? The employee says, oh, wow, they caught me on. Right? All of a sudden, you know there's something wrong. You already know division. Division. Anytime somebody interrogates you, you feel like, yeah, yeah, I want to tell you everything. No. Right away, as soon as somebody, you feel interrogation, uh, not today, tomorrow. Talk to the hand, as you call it, right? Even from your own family member, your wife, your husband, your partner, start to interrogate you, Korach consciousness. What do I need to do? If I understand that Korach is within me, since that situation is 30, 3,400 years ago, probably, that situation occurred cosmic, cosmically. And since then, we it was added a layer of concealment. And therefore, there is me and there's you. There is a, a no 100% right and no 100% wrong, right? That creates unity, by the way. And therefore, a person need to do go through investigation, not interrogation. I need to investigate my consciousness. No, a lot of us when we do something, no, I had a pure, pure desire to help. How these things messed up? Probably you didn't really investigate your your consciousness so deeply, and therefore as well when you are arguing with somebody. You need to have investigation, not interrogation. We investigating each other. Let me see. Maybe I did say it this way. Maybe don't completely shut down. When somebody in, 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 uh, 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 argue with you, you need to understand is not them argue with you. Is you have an internal argument that presented itself within that individual. So now that if an individual is arguing with you about a certain point, right? And the investigation is to investigate my consciousness, not that we're investigating their consciousness. I each one of us investigating what through the conversation. Wow, I realized that what I said it wasn't hundred percent, or I could have answered this way, or I could have been more compassion, or I could have been waiting, or I didn't need to jump to conclusion. All this investigation unites us, as opposed to 
interrogation and, and blame or division create separation. So in the word Korach, there is the idea of that we need to investigate and research where each one of us coming from. I want to argue on that point. So how come if I really came from the right place, how come you feel this way? And then through the conversation, you start to ignite, to realize, wow, I'm, I'm beating up my Korach out of my system. That's what we do. And the last one, the last one, Again, it's, it's a different one. I'm not going to share. But there's a third consciousness of the uniqueness called Chirik. If you flip the letter, the letter of Korach, or, 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 which is the eyes, Kerach, or Cheker, which is investigation, you have to flip it again. You get the word Chirik, which is representing different dots in the wisdom. I'm not going to get into diff details about it. But it's a very unique secret that through Korach, we can transform. It's called Chirik, which is a little point. What does it mean? When do you feel a connection? When the other person's made across the point that they want to make. Oh, that was the point? Okay, I got it. That's it. You might have another hour conversation, then you get a couple of points. That makes the connection. So you have to make sure that eventually you're getting to, again, a lot of us like, tell me what's the point directly. Just don't go around and around. No, this is part of that. Part of the evolution of the point is that when we're taking down all the unnecessary, that's the work that needs to be done. And proactively, you and I need to find the point. Like, for example, I talk to many people every day. Sometimes, sometimes people every other day, the same people, right? I just spoke to you two days ago. It doesn't matter. Every conversation has a point, and we need to find the point, make the connection, move forward. So in conclusion, 3,500 years ago, 3,400 years ago, comes this moment of argument that create division. And that division obviously create a destruction. But we have to remember, every single day, we're standing in front of Moses. Our Moses. Remember, we're not talking about some Moses lives some thousand. Is your higher level of consciousness. And in order to achieve it, you have many characters. And your Korach wants to come in and create division between them. No. It's one. I need to work on the oneness. One. Echad. Achdut. Oneness between me and all the characters in my, in my movie. And slowly, slowly, to really bring ourselves completely to eradicate Korach from our consciousness and create oneness. And when we have that oneness, we bring in the light, what we call of immortality, continuation. Because like a chain, if one link is missing, no matter what you're going to do, there's no connection, it doesn't transform. So we need to create a, 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 a uniqueness with each other, the, the uniqueness of each other, bring together, see how to work it together. And any company, any, any friends, any family who eliminate division in the house, they see miracles beyond. No, it says, and Nezek, there's no damage in these people's uh, life. So I leave you with that. Please listen to it again if you can. Please share this wisdom with, with friends or your loved ones or, or don't. But thank you for showing and uh, I'll see you soon.